beloved friends welcome to pmc english we are discussing on uh, dhammapada and also understanding the buddha and his dhamma and uh, witnessing uh, so many stories the disciples of the buddha and also understanding the life incidents which they have came across in their life so today we are going to discuss uh, about a great enlightened master the disciple of buddha who is none other than mahakashyap when we see the life of buddha he was done his uh, sadhana by seeing the nature and also he had practiced uh, eight uh, types of meditations when he was practicing the different types of uh, techniques and eight meditations and also he had done uh, sadhana while sitting in the burial ground also in the cremation ground and what happens uh, uh, when we practice the meditation in the cremation ground we will see the funeral pyre and the we will see the dead body and the people in the cremation ground and their uh, attitudes behavior patterns and their positivity and also their negativity their miserable conditions and their creeping all this uh, we can witness at that moment and uh, when we see the dead body on the funeral pyre what happens uh, when we do meditation while witnessing that uh, situation in the burial ground naturally our body will become dead the most of the people they will cry they will creep they will weep when somebody will die what is the reason behind it do you know the main reason was they will innerly experience their death by witnessing the other's death so that is the reason why they will cry because of fear they will die so one day uh, we will also die like that and our body will also be on the same funeral pyre today what we are witnessing to that person that is the reason why when we meditate in the cremation ground naturally we will enter into your inner so this uh, in the buddha's period different types of uh, cremations we will witness in the buddha's period some people uh, will uh, take the dead body and live like that and this uh, birds animals they will eat that uh, dead body and uh, finally the bones will vanish away in the earth this is a type of uh, cremation and uh, in some types uh, they will uh, keep the body on the funeral pyre and it will become ashes that is one type and another type is uh, they will bury in the ground this three types of cremation uh, we can see not only in the buddha period today also we are seeing this three types of cremations so uh, when we bury the body in the ground it will be useful ecologically it is good when we bury the body ecologically it is good why because it will helps the nature and it will uh, transform the um, this uh, physical body elements into another form it will helps the nature and uh, when we uh, use the technique of uh, the funeral pyre and when we use the fire to see the nature of uh, this uh, body when we see the condition of the body when it is on the fire then naturally we will get uh, vairagya i mean uh, we will renounce the world and we will uh, come out of this attractions naturally we will come out of this attractions and these are the old techniques uh, which the people had uh, followed from the ancient period today also we are uh, following the same techniques and the another technique was Mm, when we uh, left the body to the animals to eat to pray for the animals or for the birds 
and it is a very horrible condition. Why? Because while we are living, we love our body and uh, we will love our beauty, we will love our face, our eyes, our body structure and uh, when we are witnessing that, uh, when the birds or animals, when they are eating uh, our body, uh, when we witness that, it is a very horrible condition to witness to the people and naturally they will get detached to the world. And these are the different types of techniques they have practiced in the ancient period and also today also we are practicing it. So, the Buddha used to send the disciples to the cremation ground and these three types of cremations, just you sit and witness what is happening to the dead body and what is the ultimate truth of this physical body, what happens after death you witness it, then naturally uh, Buddha used to give this type of technique for 3 months, no meditation, nothing. Uh, when a person will come to the Buddha, he will give a, a technique to practice, go and uh, sit in the burial ground from morning to evening and uh, witness what happens. Just like 3 months he is going and coming witnessing what happens in the burial ground, naturally you will get detached from the body. You will come out of this uh, body fluctuations and this is the technique uh, he is to practice in those days. So, so many people had uh, uh, come out of this uh, body attractions with this technique. And uh, Buddha had given uh, so many techniques, not only Anapanasati and also uh, Vipassana. He used to uh, give techniques, different types of techniques to get rid of this body, mind and uh, uh, nature. So, the main disciple of Buddha, uh, his uh, Mahakashyap and he had became enlightened while Buddha was living. And uh, the knowledge and wisdom of the Buddha and Mahakashyap is the same. So, uh, there is one story about this uh, Mahakashyap. So, when, when you understand his story, you will understand the, his wisdom also. Once uh, the Buddha came to uh, give his sermon and while coming, he had uh, carried a lotus flower in his hand and uh, he had came and sat so many disciples, the, I think it is 10,000 disciples had came to listen to the uh, sermon of uh, Buddha. But on that day, the Buddha was in a silent state, in a Arya Maun, I mean in the noble silence. And he had came and sat, just he is uh, witnessing the lotus flower in his hand, just seeing. You can see the photographs of Buddha uh, witnessing the lotus flower. Nowadays also we can see. That is the most, uh, one of the important photos of the Buddha that just he is simply witnessing the lotus flower in a very silent state. And most of the people they are thinking that why he is not uh, talking and giving uh, any uh, discourse on that day. People are discussing like that. One hour is completed, two hours is completed and what the Buddha is seeing, seeing that flower and in a very silent state. He had not even talked a single word, just he is witnessing the flower. The people get confused what happened to the Buddha and why he is not giving the discourse. So, in this uh, confused situation, the Mahakashyap has laughed so intensely. And after that what happens, uh, the Buddha will call him and he will give that lotus flower to the Mahakashyap. Do you imagine or do you guess why this uh, Mahakashyap has laughed intensely and uh, after that situation why the Buddha called him and given a lotus flower? Do you have any guess? And why all the, this people are, uh, are discussing uh, uh, about the Buddha attitude at that moment. So, what happened at that moment? Simply, 
these people came to listen to the words of buddha and carry some words with them to the home but on that day the buddha had not given the sermon he is just came and sat and uh, he came with the lotus flower in his hand and just witnessing it with complete silence why this uh, mahakashyap has laughed intensely means he is giving message with his silence also while witnessing the lotus flower he is giving some message with his silence but this uh, foolish people they are not understanding his message that is the reason why he has laughed intensely and after that what happened the buddha called the mahakashyap and given the lotus flower why he had given the lotus flower means he had contributed his total wisdom his buddhahood his nirvana his enlightenment he had given a blessing in the form of lotus flower and he gifted it to the mahakashyap after that the mahakashyap had become enlightened so he had contributed his buddhahood to the mahakashyap and what is the nature of lotus flower or lotus leaf lotus is the symbol of purity and also it's a symbol of detachment nirliptata i mean detachment it will grow in the water but it won't touch the water it will so much get detached with the water just like a sky when we see the nature of sky also the birds will fly the flights will go and the rockets will go but no footprints are there on the sky why because the sky is not attached with this uh, things no footprints are there when you walk on the earth when you do something on the earth you have the footprints but when we see the sky we don't have any footprints why because the sky it won't observe anything from that things just it will get detached from the things and that is the nature of buddha and that is the nature of a enlightened master he will get detached with this society he will live in the society he will live with the people but he will detached from the society just like a lotus flower in the water just a lotus flower in the mud just a dew drop on the lotus leaf it will slips the water drop will slips and the lotus leaf will not get attached with that water drop this is the nature of lotus flower and what happens when you get uh, enlightened when you get enlightenment you will become just like a lotus flower in the water you will live in the society you will live in this world but you will get detached from your body from your mind from your world from your worldly pleasures and from your feelings from your emotions and also from your breath you will live with your pure consciousness so when you uh, reach your pure consciousness and what is the nirvanic state and we will call that 1000 uh, uh, petaled lotus when a 1000 petaled lotus will blossom on your head then uh, ultimately uh, you will attain the wisdom that is the uh, sahasradala kamala vikasam i mean uh, when 1000 petaled lotus has blossomed how fragrance will come likewise when a uh, man will become a buddha he will get such type of wisdom and that fragrance of the wisdom he will spread across the world without any discriminations and without any 
dogmas without any prejudices without any caste creed greed discriminations that fragrance will touch the nostrils of every human being and also every creature on the earth and uh, that is the reason why the buddha had a peculiar quality and he is the everest range in the spirituality why because he had given a new outlook to the society so this mahakashyap has attained the buddhahood that is equal to the buddha who is that uh, mahakashyap was in this uh, life and death circle when we see the past life uh, of osho some people will say that uh, the mahakashyap itself is the life of osho and uh, in the past life he is the contemporary of the bodhidharma and in this life he had came like osho some people will say like that so whether it is a uh, right or wrong that is not the context but when we see the wisdom of the osho in every juncture he will quote the buddha he will give the reference of the buddha whether he is talking about the upanishads or uh, or vedas definitely he will give reference of the buddha in his words when you watch his videos or discourses uh, you can identify it so some people will say that uh, the mahakashyap uh, reincarnation is the osho so this mahakashyap has contributed so much for the dhammapada uh, after the mahapari nirvana of the buddha and uh, what happens uh, after the nirvana of the buddha uh, this anand the disciple of the buddha he had not got enlightenment while buddha was uh, living so uh, this anand had uh, lead his life completely with the buddha just like a shadow to the buddha and he is a very intelligent and he had a lot of memory power and what the sutras we are now witnessing in the dhammapada was given by the anand so in the life of buddha so many disciples of the buddha had got enlightenment while he was living and they had contributed the sutras in the dhammapada and uh, in every 5 years in buddhism they will arrange a enlightened masters council to refer the dhammapada and uh, give the new philosophy in the buddha's uh, world so uh, now also we are witnessing the buddhist world buddhist conferences and uh, for every 5 years so at that moment when buddha left the body the anand had uh, contributed so much for the dhammapada if anand is not there and uh, the dhammapada will be not there why because each and every sutra he had given in the dhammapada was witnessed by the buddha so that is the reason why we have got the wonderful uh, scripture that is dhammapada because of this mahakashyap and sariputra mugdgalayana anand and uh, so many enlightened masters have contributed so much in the sect of uh, buddhism and we are very thankful to them and grateful to them so they have contributed so much to the whole humanity after buddha and uh, we are very much grateful to that people uh, that we are discussing on the dhammapada with their blessings and also we are practicing the meditation and also understanding the techniques of the dhammapada so friends understand this and understand the philosophy of the practice the meditation daily be conscious be alert and be attentive in every moment and every second and become enlightened in this life only thank you very much mm-hmm.